Hey YouTube, I'm back with another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison of my two 14-inch laptops. These are the only 14-inch laptops that I have ever owned. Uh, one of them is my very old, uh, ancient T400. Um, this is the laptop that I, like the first major ThinkPad that I used. Um, and then I have the A485, which is my newest one that you guys have seen, a series of videos that I've been doing recently on it. So... This one is the new Ryzen 7 one. This is the old Intel Core 2 Duo one. Um, so quite a world of difference here, but we're going to go look. We're not going to focus too much on the the differences in the CPUs, although they are very different. Um, but we're going to focus more on the differences with the ThinkPad branding and ThinkPad itself, how it's changed over the years. Uh, and you can already see that there's like a lot of differences here. So we'll start off with the old T400. So the T400 is, uh, it, it was the first ThinkPad that was purely done by Lenovo, um, where it still had the IBM touches of the T60 and the T61, um, but they got rid of the T-Series uh, branding on the side here. So on the T61, they used to say, it used to say T-Series, they got rid of that. Um, but you can see, the nice thing about it is, you, like, I learned to use the touchpad like this, where I would left-click with my uh, left index finger, um, and then use the touchpad to scroll, or, like, drag and drop. So I would I would use it like that. Um, but the problem with the newer, uh, the newer design, well, we're not going to really criticize the newer design, but the thing is, in the old design, you had the track point, uh, which was actually in the beginning there was no touchpad laptops used this like a long time ago back when IBM had mobile desktops and then like Dell and, and HP and everyone else showed up later and started copying them and then they started doing the trackpad the trackpad or now also called touchpad thing so these buttons up here left click middle with scroll scroll with the track point and then you have right click of course so those things were there from the beginning. I'm, I'm glad they've never got rid of it because I think they should never get rid of it. That's kind of the mark of that's the legacy of the ThinkPad brand. Um, you do get a fingerprint reader. It's the old type where you have to basically you like slide it over to log in. So if we lock the computer here, um, you can see swipe your finger to log in. And this is Windows 7 Ultimate. So this laptop actually came out in the Vista era. This is when it was new, was Windows Vista was like the main operating system. Windows 7 came out, and then you could upgrade this to Windows 7, which I did. Uh, so yeah, you basically swipe it like this, and then boom, logs you right in. So it's pretty quick. I have an SSD in here, so it's, it's not like this thing's gonna die anytime soon. Um, but the other thing I will point out is I, I do really like these LED indicators. So you have one for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, WAN, or WiMAX WAN, or whatever that was. You have Caps Lock, Num Lock. You have the hard drive activity which indicator, which I really like. It's, over time, Lenovo got rid of these one by one until the hard drive indicator was the only one. The hard drive and the sleep one lasted a very long time, and the battery one. And then now it's like none of them are there anymore. Except the sleep one, which is now on the back. It's a red dot. So, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of a bummer they got rid of that stuff because I think that that's kind of also a defining quality of ThinkPad. It looks like one of those laptops that you'd see like in outer space on a space shuttle. It just has that like look to it. I have it plugged in here, but if I, I'm going to unplug it. The other thing too is the power cord that it used. Ooh, that's some really bad PWM. Well, on low brightness, but you can see the screen is pretty bright. So it had a very good um, power adapter cord. It's it's uh, circular. So they had this for a very long time, and they switched to a rectangular one. Um, and then now they've switched to USB Type C. So it's it's still very very good, um, very reliable AC adapter. Never died on me. Um, but yeah, that's. So that's the laptop, if you close it here, it has the latch right here. The older ones had latches on both sides, like you'd have to do like this, 
to open it. But in this one, they, they, they eventually got rid of it completely, but like now it's like on that side only. So if I close it again, that's how you unlock it. And the hinges are still really solid. As you can see, I can pick it up. I can just grab it by the, like I can just pick it up. I can just pick it up and see that, how the hinges are holding the weight of that thing. And, and the bottom of this thing's heavy. It's got the battery in the back that sticks out like that. You guys can see that. So, really solid design there. Um, it has your CD burner on the side here. It has a USB port right there. The hard drive comes out here. There's like one screw. You have both the microphone and the um, headphones on the front of the laptop. You have Firewire. You have a dedicated Wi-Fi switch. You can shut off the Wi-Fi completely. Um, there's some smart card reader thing here, two USB, 2.0, uh, gigabit ethernet, and then you have a, you still, you have a modem port, RJ11 modem, and then you have a VGA, your vents on both sides, there's the power cord, and then here's the nine cell battery, which still to this day, my, my nine cell battery um, has, uh, I think 69 watt hours left and originally it was like 70 or 84 watt something like that. So it's still in relatively good condition. I can still get like seven hours out of it, out of this laptop. That's pretty amazing for a laptop this old. So that's the old, it has the webcam up there and it also has, it doesn't have a backlit keyboard, but what it does have is the think light. So it has a light up there. You can shine, it can shine down in the dark. You can see the keyboard. So it's kind of like having a flashlight built into the laptop, which is very cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this was basically a laptop that I had. This is like my first ThinkPad. Um, screen resolution is 1440 by 900, uh, but most of them were 720p. So. You can see that's got some pretty bad PWM. Like if we start going down, yeah, see that? That's PWM, not gonna to induce any seizures or anything, so we're just gonna leave that the way it is at maximum brightness. Maximum brightness is not that bad. Um, color gamut is pretty lousy. If we look at the specs here, you have a Intel Core 2 Duo. This is the T9600. So it's it's a dual core without hyperthreading. So you only got two cores but they are two cores it's not like one core with hyper threading it's like a uh, two cores with no hyper threading Four, 45 nanometer pin rin. so this is like 2007 technology in a 2009 2010 laptop that was the time frame of when this thing was around um it, it has a switchable graphics so it has although i don't think it's, it's going to show it here i'll show i'll actually do the switchable i'll show you guys the switchable but so there's there's no it doesn't switch on the fly, but it actually does have a discrete graphics card. That's the crazy thing. So it, it does have the in, Intel integrated graphics, which is terrible. Um, but here, let's close CPU Z, close this, and now down here at the bottom, if I go, if I go down here to the Lenovo thing, the Lenovo battery indicator it tells you I'm getting about maximum brightness it says I got four five hours left at 85% switchable graphics right here so energy saving is Intel integrated if I switch over to high performance give it a minute here it'll switch over and then it'll come up and now it's using the ATI I don't even remember it's like a 3000 series uh, let's take a look in CPU Z here but yeah, see, there's the catalyst control. Check that out. I haven't used this thing in a long time, so let's, but let's see. Oh, now it's showing it. So now I can switch over. There it is. So we have a 3400 series um, Mobility Radeon HD 3400 series. This is a DirectX 9.0C graphics card. This cannot do DirectX 11. 
Um, so you can't really play any games on this thing. Let's open the Catalyst Control Center and see what that looks like. Oh wow. So there's Catalyst Control. Yeah, there we go. That that's pretty old stuff, guys. So that's that's the T four hundred. Um, you can't really do anything with it. It's like the the I basically leave it in the integrated mode all the time for the battery life because the discrete graphics card at this point is so outdated that it's not really usable anymore. Um, but that, it's cool that it had that. It kind of shows you how technology has progressed over the time over the years. So that's the ThinkPad T four hundred. It's a classic. I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. This is going to stay in my collection for a long time. Um, it just shows the timeline of progress in technology. So that is Intel with AMD or with ATI discrete. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the T400. Now let's switch over to the new Ryzen 7 2700U uh, ThinkPad A485. So this thing obviously is using a 24, 2700U mobile. That one was a 45 watt or 35 watt? No, I think it's 45 watt. No, I think it's 35 watt. Let's take a look. Uh, doesn't really say. CPU is not sure because that's how old it is. Um, 45 nanometer, but I think it, I think it's a 35 watt uh, CPU if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. So moving on to the Ryzen. So this one is 15 watts. Um, and it has the the Vega 10 integrated, so it doesn't have to do any switchable graphics technology. But you can get a gaming laptop that does have switchable graphics. So you'll have you'll have the Vega 10 as your integrated solution, um, and then you'll have a discrete card that it'll switch over to on the fly, or you can specify that the 3D application, like a game, for instance, uses that. So that laptop over there. This one has eight gigabytes of DDR3. I can show you guys here. See, 8,000 megabytes, so that's eight gigabytes. And that's the, it's running at 1066. And those are the timing, seven, seven, seven. Look at that low, low latency, dual channel symmetric. And then if we go over to the Ryzen, this is 32 gigabytes with way higher latency but it's way higher frequency 2400 megahertz so that is that's progress right there you have the webcam you have the thinkpad shutter thing which you do not have on the other thing you don't you no longer have the think light but instead what you get is a backlit keyboard with two brightness levels so you have the higher brightness you can turn it off completely so there's that you no longer have the click buttons. The dedicated buttons, there it, it does click, but it's not dedicated click, and I, I hate this. I, I prefer the old setup more. Um, yep, so you guys can see Ryzen, Ryzen Pro versus Intel Centrino V Pro inside, Lenovo Experience Enhanced Windows 7. Um, but yeah, that's it. You you no longer have the latch. Um, in terms of the thickness, as you can see, it's a little more than it's almost half the thickness. It's a lot lighter. This thing is probably like six pounds. Feels about six pounds with a nine cell. This one is about four pounds, and this one has the six cell. Uh, plus an integrated battery in here. So it has a 24 watt hour battery here. This is a 72 watt hour battery out here. Um, that This one just has a, a nine cell. So both have nine cells, because I think the, the one in here is three plus six, so you got nine in here, but this is still significantly thinner and lighter than the, I mean, at the thickest point, it's it does look pretty chunky on the back because of that battery. Um, but you don't have to have this battery if you don't want to. Then, it, then it'll be a lot thinner. Um, but on the desk together, they look like that. So. And here's your little LED that when it's asleep, this thing will be, this thing will slowly breathe on off. The hinges are still really, really solid. I can pick it up 
without any issue. Like I'm, I'm grabbing it. Whoa, I'm not grabbing it in here. But yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the 14 inch, the progression of the 14 inch series from the T400 to the uh, A485, aka the T480, um, although this is the AMD variant. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.